the yellow was slightly protected by the brown. Now cued across that slightly. What's he left? There might be just one at the back of that bunch of reds. Everything else seems to be covering each other. But there's certainly one that'll go. That one just, it's almost touching the other ball. That'll pot. An excellent opportunity. How does he respond to that clearance in the previous frame? Five. The Reds are in a lovely position. The way this final is starting okay. to build up, I'd be surprised if Ronnie doesn't win the frame from this visit. To be honest, I know it's quite premature to say it at the moment, but it's just the feeling you get both players are starting to hit top gear. Just at the right time. Eleven. Twenty four. Twenty five. You can see the average shot time, Ronnie's below twenty for the first time in the match. I think one of his matches he was down to something like 14, 15 seconds. The standard now is quite incredible. Both players playing at the top of their form. So there's plenty of snooker to be played in this year's UK Championship, you feel. And once again, Romney's gone to sit down as the referee finds the correct spot for the pink there. Yeah, he's not even looking, Ronnie. I think he gets. Thank you. Sometimes gets a little bit annoyed how long the referees take to, to spot the ball. But yeah, Ronnie's shot shot time comes down when he's got complete control of the cue ball because there's no need to look at what the next shot is because he's always in perfect position. There's only this red into the middle and the one to the right of the cue ball that's available. The others are covering each other. Forty-seven. 
48. He'll play for the one near the cushion this time. It's not a good angle to Cannon into the five reds and pink. Has he hit it too hard? Just about okay. But he might have to screw back for the blue just looking at it. Or has he got a slight angle? Yeah, he had a slight angle to get on the black. So this is the key shot coming up. If he can come on the two reds right in the middle, there's two reds. If he can hit them right in the center, it'll be perfect. Just caught the end. One of the pulls up, he's okay. Then he'll go into the middle. 61. Just a few more pots away from winning this frame with one visit. Sixty-two. Exceptional play from both players here. Really is. Yeah, this is what we hoped. Sixty-seven. These two players were matched up in this final. There, see Ronnie <laughs> getting the referee to get out of the way. <laughs> He's totally in his own. He just wants nothing in the way of him making this century break. Well, we could get a pair of roller skates for the referee. That might help. 74. Seventy-five. He's had 124 in the opening frame, and then he had 134. 81. Is this going to be another century? 82. He's made 10 in the tournament so far. There's been 102 so far. 88. And if he could make 100 here, 89. I don't suppose he's thinking about it. This would be a century of centuries in the UK Championship. 96. The man beside me holds the record. 105. Superb, absolutely fantastic. The standard is quite extraordinary at the moment from both players. It looked 108. When Mark Selby won the opening frame this evening that he was going to run away with it. But Ronnie had other ideas. 112. 117. Oh. <laughs> 123. That's another take this on that's short Stephen will be really disappointed he didn't reach the cushion and the fact that yellow's off the spot now means that he's still on a colour. It's amazing how matches can drift away from you when you... He'd be sitting there feeling like he's not played a shot this morning, John. But he had chances in opening three frames. But the last three, he's just sat and watched. Three. Yes, and unlike us who've been enjoying the, the play of Ronnie also, Stephen won't be looking at it that way. Four. He'll be itching to get on the table. But... 28.
35. 36. 43 44 It just does everything so quickly when he's brake building you know Hendry plays a, a bad safety and all of a sudden four minutes later it's almost at frame ball again three more reds and three killers It'll be nine on the trot if you can win this frame. I'm sure Stephen Hendry, in his career, 51. at the Crucible has never lost nine on the trot. He lost nine nil once in the UK Championship to Marcus 52. Campbell. Marcus is a great player, but I know that Stephen was having a little bit of trouble with his cue at the time. So this will be the first time he's lost nine on the trot since Marcus Campbell won nine on the trot. Sixty. Not perfect on the blue, so he could possibly play a little cannon here just to hold the cue ball. He'd like to be able to run by the pack if he can off two cushions. And he, well, he could. He could run by off two cushions, and he's perfect. I wasn't sure whether that shot was on. That shot 65. could be a frame winner. That was beautifully played. Could be back to back centuries. 66. 66. The applause tells you that the frame is over. Seemed to play well, Stephen Hendry, in second 17. sessions against Ronnie. Remember a few years ago when it was 17 4, the second session they came in at 6 2. Henry lost 7 on the trot to go to 13 2. But this is uh, 9 on the trot, which is a record. Made a break of 133 in the last frame, and the cue ball control was just, well, just poetry in motion. 81. This, if anything, has been slightly better. He's queuing like a dream. I mentioned in commentary when he was 9-7 in front of Mark Williams, he played four frames to win 13-7, that I thought it was the best four frames I'd seen for a long time at the Crucible. We're now talking 89. of six or seven frames on the trot that have been played in the same way. And it's all because Stephen didn't take his chances in the opening three frames. Ronnie has suddenly been given a lift, the fact that he knows that Stephen is struggling to pot sometimes frame ball. 95. If you let this man loose, 96. you can see what he can do. Two of the greatest players of all time. One of them is totally commanding this session. One hundred and eight. Possible 1-3-5 on, which will eclipse the one three three of the previous frame. 
two total clearances on the trot. Success 91% for Mark Selby, that's good. Ronnie O'Sullivan down to 83%, that's not good. But tonight, 97% pot success. And it's going to stay like that with pots like that. One. Cue ball has come a little bit close to the cushion, but tremendous pot. Now, if you're having a good day, you might be in a position where you can just roll this blue in and cannon the red on the right-hand side of the table. Well, he didn't, but boy, I couldn't tell you how well he cued that. Six. Under the cushion, thin blue, and just stroked it in as though it was over the pocket. Wonderful. getting this happen. I don't blame him. He's going back to his seat to sit down while the referee... The pink spot isn't available, but, but I must say, Kent, they do take a while respotting some of these <laughs> balls. I mean, it's in a direct line, as long as he's not touching, but... There's no harm to go back and sit down, because you're just standing there waiting. Born in energy. Just go back and relax, refocus. Yeah, and thinking about the shot you're going to play. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 13. <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah, we're only playing for the black now. You, you may have to play a little cannon on the red to the right of the black. Mm, we just didn't get into it enough. He's got a red to the left middle, but that's not what he was playing for. 21. Big shot, this. Big shot, correct shot. <laughs> Fantastic pot to the left centre. I'm taking this red away now. We'll release the black, of course, into both pockets. 30. We've still got quite a bit of work to do if he wants to win the frame from this visit. Use that cue ball to slow up. 37. <coughs> Lost the cue ball. That's no good. I'd be disappointed. Well, he played a, a blue, not unlike this earlier in the frame. Now you have to play a similar shot. Yeah, I think if it was a natural, he may have played it now. He may be concerned that there's a possibility he could go in off into the right corner. It's the only reason I and think he's not played the blue already. We'll see. Good queuing needed. And got. Couldn't have played that any better. Forty-three. Yeah. And he's just about on this red. That's his target. Sixty-eight. He's got a nice angle on the black, he has. Nice angle on the black to just to go into the reds and try and develop some. 
to the cue ball too much, but he has a red into the right center. 51. to play for the, the Reds down here, but there's one in the ball, end. Just got to get the pace of this right. Doesn't want to hit it too hard. He's OK, and he's not hampered by the yellow. 57. So he can pot this red, leave a nice angle on the brown. He's only three reds away from clinching this frame and going into the mid-session interval. Just two frames behind. So the first mini target would have been achieved. Obviously, the lights will won all four, but winning three of the four, you felt was imperative. 52. That looks good. It looks perfect. 62. <laughs> 63. This pink to go 69 points in front with just 67 remaining. Sixty-nine. Seventy. Well, he's certainly buzzing around the table now, Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's He's definitely got his mojo back. He lost it early on in this match in the first session, but 78. he's refocused. We have a match on, John. 85. Yes, we certainly 86. do, Ken. And two of the Best players in the world, no doubt. We want it to be a good match. And that's what we're going to get. I'd love to see the century now. That I just put the icing on the cake here in these... 94. ..for these first four frames. And that's the 101st century break of the tournament. And more importantly, that's Ronnie O'Sullivan's 850th century of his career. One hundred and seven. One hundred and nine. Well, this has been a fantastic break. A couple of brilliant blues into that right centre and a couple of amazing reds from around the black spot area into either middle pocket as well. That's been so fluent. One hundred and sixteen. Great to watch. Yes, and what's impressed me more, Ken, is the fact, as we said, it's the first frame. Would his head drop? No. No way. All around the houses. Slow down, George. One hundred and twenty-seven. Sensational play from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's up for the fight. That's why everybody wanted to see it at the barbecue. Sometimes you just force into playing the pot. John mentioned was forced into playing that pot and you know that if you give Ronnie half a sniff the way he's playing this morning he's going to score heavily every frame this morning he's scored 40 or above that's been his lowest break 44 in frame 10 everything else has been 93 87 57 how many will he get here 
four. Five. Couldn't get into the main bunch there, but full ball contact was always going to leave in the bottom red. He's got the full ball contact. Twelve. Because he's now getting rid of this red. Going into the bunch now is not really 13. advantageous, so he'll be playing for a loose one. Twenty. Twenty one. Now, what sort of an angle has he got? Well, he's playing bottom and follow through, so back for the black. 29. Now, could he play the cannon onto the reds? He's just got to avoid the red near the top cushion, or just play for another loose one. That's what he's doing. Always had to. 36. Just the pace well there because it wasn't obvious the red. But he's nicely on this up for the blue. 37. <coughs> 42. Forty-three. That's exactly where he didn't want to finish. That's why he's taking the pink now, because he can't get onto that red. Playing the pink, of course, means that red's going to be available that's loose. This is the key shot now, the next one. Position on three-quarter ball pink into the middle to open the reds. Or half ball black to go into them from one cushion 29. into the reds. Just coming round to look whether the value is to play the three-quarter ball pink. From this instance, I think that's the best value because you'd be pushing a red over the left-hand corner and possibly over the right-hand corner if you play the pink three-quarter ball. So it was, you've got to look at these kind of things, where the reds are being pushed to. And that's the reason he's left the three-quarter ball pink. So the one on the extreme left of the bunch will be pushed towards the left. And he'll be hoping he pushes one over the right as well. Not worked. He may have the top one. Didn't quite have the angle he wanted to, just 56. keep an eye on them. Just got them. I thought that red had slowed down, it probably hit it a fraction hard. Yeah, and he could have done with it in the join of the two reds rather than just the one red. And he had to put a bit of backspin so that the cue ball didn't stick on the red, but I think he's got one to the left corner. There you see it. 57. Not far from the winning line in another frame. Stephen Hendry led 4 1. Could be eight in a row. Has he got an angle on this red? Just enough. 62. They're just slotting them in as though they're over the pocket. That was a difficult shot made to look ridiculously easy. This is the first frame of the frames this morning as we see Ronnie taking what would be frame ball. Seven. But Stephen Hendry hasn't really had a chance in this frame. 
so it doesn't it doesn't hurt as much when you don't have a chance but obviously the reason it delayed a little bit more this morning because that's five on the trot a total of eight on the trot since he was four one in front 77 78 and the nature of the game Ronnie O'Sullivan broke off Stephen couldn't see a safety was forced into playing a long pot didn't get 54. it 54 and that's it so as we say no matter how good you are and on the other man's at the table potting balls you can only watch This is the one that Stephen couldn't see a safety. 90. Knew it was fraught with danger. And his worst fears have been realised. <laughs> He's just rammed that in left-handed there. Well, he deserves a century. This has been absolutely top 98. draw. 98. All centuries are good. 99. This has been very good. Eighth century 108. of the tournament. And the 54th of the tournament. The record stands at 68 in the tournament. 115. It's not certain to be beaten. At the start of the tournament, there's a lot of talk whether it would be. 60 or above or less, I think 60 will be beaten. But this has been a masterclass in break building. isn't on its spot, so it may be potable into its own pocket. Give me an opinion, John. Do you think O'Sullivan played to double the red? Four. Well, I have my doubts. I think he was concentrating on getting the white down at the bulk end. You never know with Ronnie. Five. Well, whether the initial red was luck or skill. Ten. He has got a chance to snatch the frame. Eleven. Yes, it's amazing how quickly 17. he developed the balls into such a good situation. 18. And that was a lot better shot than it looked. Judges it to perfection. 24. 25. Forty-five. 46. Yes, and this next shot 
after the pink could be the most difficult and that's if he takes the pink he could take the yellow here to get it back on its own spot Fifty-two. Fifty-four. <laughs> Should win the frame now. Fifty-seven. Sixty-one. Only four minutes <laughs> for that winning break of 72. It puts Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's full of confidence at the moment, but he's stuck Ronnie right in here. One. Five. Six. Just looking to see what's available into the left corner pocket. And that will decide whether he needs to go into the reds or not. Always was going to be on this one for the right. Thirteen. Terrific opportunity now. Fourteen. Made a sixty-four break in the last frame but didn't win it. Makes it even more important that he wins this one. Twenty-one. Didn't get the cannon as he intended there, but there was always going to be another couple of reds available to him. He really could do with killing the frame off at this visit. Twenty-two. <coughs> Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-eight. Forty-four. Forty-five. All beautifully played. Series of little stun and screw shots. The key to brick building. And this is just what Ronnie O'Sullivan 51. needed. Stephen Hendry took one long pot on. The 52. way these players are curing Clive, it's going to be one mistake and you could quite easily lose the frame. Well, in peak form. Fifty-nine. Sixty. O'Sullivan's taking these with uh, great assurance. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight.
the yellow was slightly protected by the brown the usual positional route to get on it but uh, that was brilliantly done yeah you won't see a better position of shot than that last one to get on the yellow Eighty. It's warming up very nicely this semi-final, and it's great to see both players queuing well. Eighty-four. <coughs> well, they are now. Sullivan started somewhat uncertainly. Ninety-five. Henry took the opening frame with a total clearance of 140. That's a century for O'Sullivan. Clearance of 102. It reduces 